My name is Emil Neweser and I'm Chief Operating Officer and a Vice President here at CDI. You've joined us in our Applications Lab. It's the site of two things that we do here. The first is we develop new applications for our cells and the second is we train customers here. The purpose of that is really to drive up the adoption of the cells, to try and make the workflow as simple and as easy and as smooth as possible in the customer's hands and to drive up high volume usage. We have four products today. Those are iCell cardiomyocytes, or a heart muscle cell, iCell neurons, or brain cells, iCell endothelial cells, which are a blood vessel cell, and finally iCell hepatocytes, which are a liver cell. All four of those cell types are available as a cryopreserved, ready to use format. We intend to manufacture every relevant cell type in the human body. And that in itself is a major breakthrough in the field to have the human body available in a cryovial on the customer's schedule. What we'll do now is to show you the products, demonstrate how they're used and what they look like uh, through the customer's eyes. As you can see, he's put up the cardiomyocytes. The first thing you might notice is they're beating, just as you'd expect the human heart to beat. They beat at about once per second, just like your heart, and they respond to drugs and to stimuli just like your heart would. What Arnie will do next is to apply a chemical stimulus, in this case, a drug called isoproterenol, which is really synthetic adrenaline. But what you'll find is that they go from beating at about once a second to more than twice a second. This is a dramatic physiological response in a dish. It shows that we have a true model of the human heart, that we can pharmacologically manipulate it, that you can put stimulus on it, and you can see the response. Next, we'll demonstrate how these products can be used in a high throughput way to predict the toxicity of a particular drug candidate. So what we'll do now is show you how the cardiomyocytes perform on a high throughput system. If you look up here, a graphical representation of 96 wells, and if he goes through and picks three more, you can see that they're all beating regularly. So what pharma wants to know is can we manipulate these cells? Can we get a physiologic response? Can we predict toxicity? Here's a representative experiment where the top panel is the cells under normal conditions. And you can see they're beating once per second. And then the channel below that is that drug, the synthetic adrenaline, isoproterenol. And what you can see there is it's sped up the beat rate. It's about twice, three times per second, just like we saw in the microscope earlier. You can see how we can inhibit molecularly what the heart cell is supposed to do. Pharma can put drugs against it and see this physiologic response. Pharma is very excited about it because it works. It predicts toxicity better than anything that's come before it. So what we'll do now is to show you our iCell neuron product. Just like the cortex of the brain, it is a mix of two cell types, glutamatergic excitatory neurons and GABAergic or inhibitory neurons. Right out of the cryovial, they start to send out the axons and the dendrites, the communication network that makes a neuron what it is, which is a signaling cell. You can see that network gets more and more sophisticated. It gets more and more dense as the cells reach out and find the appropriate partners and begin to communicate and talk to each other. We have real human neurobiology in a dish here. What we'll show you next is how customers are using these cells to predict drug response or to just understand basic human physiology. So what I'd like to do now is to show you the performance of the iCell neurons in a high throughput system. In this case, it's a multi-electrode array device. This particular instrument measures the electrical activity. You can see sort of a heat map diagram of that where the colors represent lots of spontaneous electrical activity of those neurons. Pharma's very excited about this because now they've got spontaneous neurologic activity, the neurobiology going on there, and they can try to manipulate it, turn it on, turn it off, modulate it in some way. If you can pull up an example of an actual drug response experiment, in this case, we've plated the iCell neurons. From left to right, we've added increasing doses of a chemical inhibitor. So what we've done is to take away the inhibitory neurons, take away the brake pedal. So now what happens is the gas pedal goes crazy. The excitatory neurons fire, they increase in activity, and you can see exactly that. That as you increase the dose of the chemical inhibitor of the inhibitory neurons, you see more and more activity of the excitatory neurons. So you've got real human neurobiology here. It represents what happens in your brain, and we can run large battery compounds against it. This is another example of why our customers are so excited about the biology and the research we enable. CDI's iCell products represent true human biology in a dish. This is a first for science. It's the first time that the human body has been accessible in this way. CDI intends to manufacture every relevant cell type in the human body. We intend to make that available in a cryovial, and we believe that will enable discoveries and enable science that CDI and our customers are only beginning to imagine.